Hi, and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Nick Johansson with your top stories from this week. A plane left Penticton last weekend and never arrived at its destination in Edmonton, prompting a week-long search involving military personnel, search and rescue, and volunteers. The 28-year-old pilot, Dominic Neron, was flying with his girlfriend, 31-year-old Ashley Borgo, when she went missing somewhere near Revelstoke, according to a ping from Neron's cell phone. Earlier this week, Borgo's sister said she believes the missing woman, a mother of three, is still alive. Four years after 27-year-old Teresa Neville was found murdered in her Glenmore home, a 61-year-old man has been charged in her murder. Police announced on Wednesday that Jay Thompson is now facing a second-degree murder charge and has been taken into custody. No details have been released as to what led to his arrest after so many years. The accused has no BC criminal record, but has several driving infractions on his record dating back to 2000 in Kelowna. Vernon City Council approved a $1.1 million increase in the budget to pay for six new RCMP officers, bringing the city's total to 56. With the latest increase, policing in the city will now cost more than $9 million annually, the largest item in the city's budget. The increase comes after McLean's Magazine ranked Vernon as the ninth most dangerous city in the country. A 21-year-old Kelowna man was sentenced to nine months in jail, followed by two years of probation Friday for raping his 14-year-old sister in 2015. The man, who can't be named to protect the identity of the victim, woke his sister up by crawling on top of her and having sex with her in August 2015, while their family was staying at a chalet at Big White. The victim said she wanted to scream, but was frozen during the assault. The man turned himself into police eight months later, after the victim had told her pastor. The victim says she now suffers from depression as a result of the assault. A Kelowna couple was stranded in Bali this week with their 14-month-old daughter, after ash from a nearby volcano grounded flights in their area. Brandon Olson and Mackenzie Pashlova, along with baby Eden, had been traveling since November 6th, but were turned away from the airport on November 27th due to the volcano. The couple first stayed at the airport, and then a hotel, before an Australian man offered them his condo to stay at while they waited for flights to resume. The couple were expected to fly home Friday. That's it for this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson. Read letters to the editor in our letters section under the opinion button in the yellow masthead. Email your letters to letters at castanet.net.